Hey, what's up everyone? It's Andy Zitzman and we got Sue BZ in the house, the Instagram expert. Give me a little hashtag yeah. there. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. All right. Hey, today you guys are joined by the expert on Instagram. Sue is world renowned for all of her expertise. Check it out. Hashtag, I mean, she's branded all the time. And today you're going to learn how to pick up followers on Instagram. So stay tuned. All right, we're back with Sue BZ and the place to be, kicking it with a Z on Game Time TV. Yeah. So, you know what time it is? It's game time. That's right. It's, it's game, game time. time. All right, so we promised to deliver some goods for these peeps today. We're going to talk about how do you pick up followers on Instagram and ultimately, how do you do that to improve your business, right? So yeah. share with us a little bit, Sue, about just when you're starting out, how do you start getting followers? Because everyone wants to have that big following, right? Yeah, everyone wants followers on Instagram. But before you even go there, you need to start with your bio. You need to have a rocking bio, which means you need to invest in your avatar and make sure that your photo of your smiling face <laughs> is cute like his. Um, and it needs to be a professional photo or a professional logo if you're a brand. You also need to make sure that you let people know exactly who you want to serve and what you do in the bio to use keywords. And most importantly, you have one URL. And so you want that URL to be a custom bit.ly if you can, so you can track your traffic. Gotcha, gotcha. So if I can, uh, if I hear what you're saying, it's like number one, go get a nice pic, all right? It's an Instagram, it's all about pictures anyways. Go get a nice pic yourself, right? Number two, you gotta have a good bio, right? You gotta have a good bio. Uh, use keywords so people find you. Yep. And ultimately have a URL with Bitly. So people that don't know, there's, there's websites out there you can use. Bitly is one of them. Go to bitly.com. Get yourself a short URL so that way it just it's easy for people to understand. They click it and they're gonna go to your web properties. Yes, exactly. But what I wanna add to that is that you can customize that Bitly and a lot of people don't know about this so for example on our bio on one of my accounts we give away a strategy guide so we use my initials SBZ 2015 guide it's our Instagram strategy guide so we give that away in our bit.ly and we've customized it so people know exactly what they're getting when they click it gotcha well how do they go and get that SBZ <laughs> okay, that download is awesome. Some people said they would even be paying for it. It's on our website, subizimmerman.com. It's also on my personal account, Subi Zimmerman, at Subi Zimmerman, and one of my featured accounts at the Instagram Expert. That is our download, which by the way, AC has generated 250 opt-ins a week since what? we put it up. Wow, yes. that's awesome. So we're going to get into that in a little bit. So, yeah. so that's awesome. So thank you for sharing that. We're going to share even more information on how to follow up with Sue later in the show. But for now, why don't you just give us the quick tips on you're getting started out. How do you pick up, you know, how do you pick up followers? And then ultimately, what kind of followers do you want? Yeah, so I'm going to give you five, maybe seven if we have time, um, tips. I call them, I call them the Subi um, Insta tips. So for one, you need to have a hashtag strategy. And so a lot of people think, Having a lot of hashtags is the strategy, and that's not the case on Instagram. You can use up to 30 per post, but you look kind of desperate and spammy when you use all of them at once. So I say spread them out, use six to eight at a time, and you can use up to 30. You get a red notification when you've exceeded the amount of hashtags that you can use. When you pick these hashtags, it's really important to think of words that people would be searching to find you, ah. not necessarily the popular hashtags that everyone else on Instagram is using because now there are 300 million active users on Instagram. So you do not want to use popular ones that move really fast in the hashtag feed. Gotcha. So that's number one, hashtag strategy. Can I, can I ask you a question? Because I think some people will say, okay, we well use, well, you know, how do I use, you know, hashtags that actually, you know, represent me or whatever. So like, so for someone like me, Game Time Movement, or I have Game Time TV, or I have Andy Zitzman branded, yes. what are, what's like a hashtag that I want so, to use? So hashtag elite coaching, ah. hashtag high performance coaching, um, what like, Hashtag VIP, hashtag entrepreneur. Success. Or, Suc yeah. Well, success will move very quickly. That's okay. just a, you know, that's an additive, you know, Too an big. adjective or a noun. <laughs> it's just like one word isn't quite it. It's like, what are people searching on Google or Google Plus 
or Twitter to find you. Gotcha. So those are the same keywords that you can use on Instagram. Love it. Using the same keywords across multiple platforms is important. Okay? Perfect. Perfect. So number one is your hashtag strategy. Number two Oops. is your posting strategy. So I'm not saying, okay, you're on Instagram, yay, start putting up photos because everyone else is putting up photos of gorgeous sunsets in Florida or the beer that you're drinking at cocktail hour or <laughs> like the shirt you just purchased. I'm not interested in that. I'm interested in, in how can you give me value in what you're posting? What visual eye candy content, visual story can you tell me in a picture or on Instagram in a 15 second video. Wow. So there are so many different posting strategies that I dive deep into in my online course, um, but I'm happy to share some of them here now if you want them. Yeah, go for it, whatever it is. Okay, so let me just, I mean, it's let, your Insta world and we're just being part of it. You know okay, so let me just give you a couple. So if you attend a conference, like you and I are here, at Michael Ports, hold on one second, of course we have a hashtag sign. Yes, we do, one second. And by the way, yeah, so we're at Michael Ports event and look what she put rings up. Heroic so, public speaking. So Michael Port is doing an event here in Fort Lauderdale, and that's why we're together. Okay. So with um, a hashtag, with a posting strategy, you can post the event that you attend. So you at the event is a really good thing to post because people are using that same hashtag from the event, and so you become part of a hashtag hub and connect to people at the event. Even Sweet. if you can't meet everyone in the room, you can follow the hashtag on Instagram, just like Twitter. Wow. The conversation on Twitter is moving quickly. On Instagram, it is a curation of photos that are there forever in the hashtag hub. So posting the events that you attend, also posting books that you love to read or listen to on Audible. So I don't say just take a picture of the book. I say take a picture of you holding the book, endorsing the book, pointing to the book, giving it a little love, and, and putting it out there. And because when you do that, you can tag the author, hashtag the book title, and become a part of that conversation on Instagram. Find like-minded entrepreneurs and business owners who use who read that book as well right. and connect with them too. This is how you find authentic followers that have the same interest as you. Awesome, awesome. So, the, and that was step number two of that content, was, right? Yeah, that was posting strategy. So you wanna get hashtags so you can kinda of get recognized. Once you're starting to get recognized, you actually wanna have some content that's valuable content so you get followers and ultimately I assume better followers, but you'll get yeah. that. Yeah, so, so <laughs> followers, you know, a lot of people on Instagram are like, follow me, I'll follow you, shout out for shout out. It's not about the follower number, it's about the quality yes. of the follower. And I always say this, you should never ever have to ask for a follower. You should earn the follower by the value you give. Mm, lovely. Okay, so number three is a geotag strategy. So here we are at this event and you can geotag the location. So when you geotag the location, you also curate within that geotag on Instagram. So you're, your, your photo that you uploaded on Instagram is there, along with everyone else that's geotagging that location. So an example of this ah. is, is when I went to Sydney, Australia, to Brendan Bouchard's Experts Academy, I geotagged that I was there in a room with 400 other people, um, many of who were B Marie Forleo B-School graduates. I didn't know they were in the room. They didn't know that I was there, but we were in the same geotag. And I found them from at a breakout session and we connected because we were connected through this online course, B-School, which we all love. And so then, of course, we took a hashtag photo and it now sits in that hashtag hub. Amazing. That geotag hub. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so we got steps, we have three steps. You said you have what, four or five? I got six, five. Seven, I, five, got, five. I, got, five. I have a lot. lot I got, got so many, got. but I'll give you two more. All right, okay. so we're getting some followers. We're moving along. Yeah, so call to action. So okay. what is it that you want people to do when they look at your post. So often I say, tag three friends who would appreciate this tip, okay? okay? And so here's a little ninja tip on top of that. So if somebody comments in the feed that they love the content I shared, but they didn't tag three friends, I call them out on the feed and I say, at Aisha is now. <laughs> she's behind the camera on the other side. She's yeah, smiling. She's right there, you can't I say, see her. You didn't tag three friends, please tag your friends. And if you're on the comment feed, she's 
gonna do it because she's publicly being called out. True story. <laughs> and she does it because you asked her to, because she's already chosen to be a part of the conversation from the content that you shared. So asking her to do one more thing is okay. So call to actions are important. So what might that look like? So tag three friends, double tap if you like it, because when you double tap a photo, you get a heart, you get more likes. When you get more likes, you show up in the like feed. So there's a reason people ask you to take action. Click the link in my bio if you want my strategy download. So telling them exactly what they want to do is so important on Instagram because people are whizzing through their feed and looking quickly. So if you want me to take action, tell me what you need from me. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's cool. So, I mean, pretty much everything you said has has like a second level, right? You know? Oh, a second <laughs> level, a third level. I can go really deep, but we're gonna keep this kind of sort of basic. Yeah, got it, all right, cool. So, okay. but, that, but I love that because, you know, the call to action, it's like, it's not just like a call to action for no reason. I mean, you're actually doing it with intention, leveraging all the things you just mentioned, you know, so ultimately you get more expansion. I mean, the idea is, is to make any piece of content or post to be the most expandable as possible, but also relevant and what you said, quality content as well. So, yeah, so I love just, that. yeah, and to add to that, so what's happened to me recently is that I've been asking more and more people to tag when I give good, valuable content. I get about 100 to 130 likes per post now. It's taken me a while, and more importantly, I get great comments. But I want people to tag their friends so they come over, start following me, get them to my sales funnel, which is my strategy guide, <laughs> sign up. Grow my list, 250 people a week, pretty sweet, um, and it really works. So, um, number four are we on? I think you're on number five. Number five. Number five, here we okay, go, so bring number, it home, bring number it home. Five. Like I think socks. Number, <laughs> I'm from Boston. From Boston, like Wicked socks, awesome. you know, bring okay, it home. So number five smart. is direct messaging. So a lot of people don't even know that this feature exists, it's pretty sweet. You can direct message one person or up to 15 people at a time. Which means if you see people are engaging in your post on a regular basis and you see that same user pop up, I say send them a special direct message. It can be a 15 second video thanking them for, for engaging and asking them if there's anything else that you can do to help them. Nice. Or you can just simply send them a coupon to your course or your live event. The direct message feature is amazing and I have a video where I talk about seven business strategies, but I say explore that direct message feature because you can really use it to grow your account. Awesome, awesome. So, and so with direct messaging, right, I mean, a couple of reasons why you wanna do that is number one, just having that personal touch to thank someone, right? I mean, they're gonna be a raving fan, so they're gonna start sharing more of your stuff. Right. That's, that's one of the things. The other things, they might tell your friends, you know, their friends and say, go check out Sue BZ, she's unbelievable. Instagram queen, expert, you know, awesome. And uh, hashtag. <laughs> but anyways, and, but no, what's really important from a business perspective, right, is yeah. that if you're using Instagram for business, right, what you're ultimately doing is providing content to attract potential clients. If you d direct message them, even if they're not ready necessarily to enroll in what you have or to buy something, yeah. they, they're more likely to go check out your website, go opt into you, and you start to develop that relationship at a much deeper level. Absolutely. And they may even actually join a conversation with you where you say, well, what are you up to and what do you do? And you bring them to a strategy call and maybe talk to them even. Who Absolutely. knows? Absolutely. Absolutely. Because <laughs> direct messaging, honestly, it's like getting a Valentine's Day. It's so special. It's an orange notification. It shows up. You very rarely get them. So when you do, your eyeballs go right to that direct message because you're so curious. Hey, someone sent me a direct message, I gotta go see it. Yep. It works every time without fail. When you get a direct message, you get eyeballs on that post longer and they're more interested in the content that you're Love sharing. Love it. I mean, so direct message, this next level Instagram tip right there, no doubt. Um, you know, the lazies out there, they don't do it, but Sue BZ does. So, all right, so Sue, this has been awesome. Um, one thing that we were talking about before, and I wanted you to just address it really quickly, is, you know, there are a lot of spammers out there, and there are a lot of people that are just getting followers. And you, you mentioned this before, yet you want really good quality followers. Yes. So just, you know, closing this thing out, just can you give a tip on how someone can, you know, I guess, um, stay away from that temptation just to get followers to look yes, big, yes. you know? I, I mean, I, I can talk about this for a long time, but let, let me keep it brief. So you can delete, report, and block anyone that's annoying you or spamming you. I have a YouTube video, go check it out, subizimmerman.com. It is the one that's had the most views of any of my videos, over 35,000 wow. views. What? How to, yeah, <laughs> how to delete, how to delete a comp, like delete, block, and spam. So. 
it's so important. If you have anything negative going on in your comment feed, you want to get it off your feed. You want to delete it because you don't want other people that are engaging in that conversation to see it. And you don't want people to go check them out because what happens, a lot of people check out the people that have commented on your post to see like-minded people. And you might be sending some of your favorite fans to this negative or bad experience that you don't want to, them to go to. So I say delete anything that doesn't resonate with your business or brand or that someone is using to self-promote. Awesome, 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 good. Yes. And, and like you said, the quality followers. I mean, at the end of the day, if you are trying to grow a following that ultimately you're gonna want to monet you know, monetize or move them to something else and actually get them to listen to your calls to action, then you want the quality because, you know, it's it's one thing, just like email lists. I mean, if you're an online marketer, you can have a huge list, but you know, if only 1% open your emails, what's the right. point, right? right? You know, you ultimately want them to take action and, uh, you know, build that relationship with you. So, awesome. Uh, so I'm absolutely. Gonna, so I'm gonna hold up our little fixed here? pillow. Oh, I love that. I mean, look at that. It's you know? just so colorful. <laughs> She is the most well-branded woman I know. She's unbelievable. I, I mean, like, this is cool, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but um, it's cute. I bring it's, all my props. I think I think I look better in the yeah, hat, though. Yeah, he's, you know, he's rocking saying, the fedora, you know? right? But, um, so all right. this Oops, is an sorry. insta pick, by yeah. the way. Oh, no, this uh, is what I say. This is what I say. Take a screenshot. Ready? Huh? Uh, ready, go. <laughs> Share it on Instagram. Tag at Subi Zimmerman, at the Instagram expert. We will know that you watch this here. And I promise you, I will respond. Boom, there's your calls to action. Boom. We got five tips from Subi Zimmerman. Now, Sue, just if you can, real quick, just tell them where to go find you on YouTube, your web properties, and if they want to check out your course. Yeah, I'm Sue B. Zimmerman everywhere. Just Google my name and I come up, and you'll go to my website. You'll find all my social share buttons there. I want to connect to you. Awesome. All right, so uh, without further ado, you know, it's time. It's game time. Game time. Till next time. Hashtag boom. <laughs>